Hi friends, our today's topic is compound interest and this is a third video on compound interest and here we are going to solve the questions without using any formula. Means any question of compound interest we can solve without using any formula of compound interest. If you will see the video part 1 and part 2 in that I have used some of the formula which has derived from the binomial theorem. But in this video we are completely going to eliminate the formula and we will be able to solve the questions of compound interest. So let's see question number 1 understand the question and then we will try to solve it right so before that we need to know the approach i mean what approach or what method we are going to use where formula is not involved right okay so what we are going to do here we are going to apply the basic of compound interest so in compound interest what actually happens is suppose you have 1000 rupees and that you are going to invest or just take 100 rupees it will be easy to calculate so if you have 100 rupees and that you are going to invest so whatever amount you are going to invest that becomes your principal right and suppose the rate is 10 percent rate is what 10 percent so after one year how much interest you will get see simple interest formula is what p into r into t divided by 100 so principal is 100 rate is 10 percent and time is one year divided by 100 which is nothing but 10 rupees interest bank will give you right see you might be thinking why i have assumed here simple interest so compound interest and simple interest are equal for one year see for one year either you com calculate compound interest or you calculate simple interest both will be same so what i am doing here is i have taken principal is equal to 100 rupees rate is equal to 10 percent so the interest after one year i will be getting is nothing but 10 rupees right okay now in compound interest what happens suppose if you have to calculate the interest for three years or two years then how do we calculate is see the first year we got 10 rupees for the next year the principal and the interest gets added means what i want to say here is this 100 plus 10 is equals to 110 rupees right and this 100 plus 10 is what 110 rupees and this will be invested for the next year again next year your principal will become 110 and your rate will become 10 percent so 10 percent of 110 will be what 110 into 10 percent will be what 11 rupees so the next year your interest will be how much 11 rupees so in compound interest what happens for the first year i will write down here for the first year simple interest will be equal to compound interest so just use the formula prt by 100 and you will be getting the interest right okay from the second year onwards my interest will be calculated on the amount on principal plus interest that is the only difference between compound interest and simple interest in case of simple interest for the first year second year every year the interest will be calculated on principal the interest will be calculated on principal but in case of compound interest from the second year onwards your interest will be calculated on amount right now let's understand this concept by solving this problem right so what is the principal see the question is what would be the compound interest obtained on an amount of rupees 9000 so my principal is what 9000 rupees and rate is what 12 percent per annum and time is what two years okay so what i will do i will calculate compound interest for one year so compound interest for one year is nothing but equal to simple interest for one year and i will use the formula p into r into t by 100 which is nothing but 9000 into 12 into 1 divided by 2 so divided by 100 sorry now this 20 will take off 20 off now 12 into 9 is 108 and one more zero is there so it will become 1080 so this is an interest for one year right now in case of compound interest when you will calculate for second year then what will happen the interest and principal will get added right so next year my principal will be what my principal will become the previous principal and plus the interest 1080 so, so if you add what will happen 0 8 0 and 9 plus 1 is 10 so this is the principal which i am going to invest for the second year right so now for the second year what will happen my principal will become 10080 
my rate will be what 12 percent only and time will become one year right so again we'll use a formula p into r into t by 100 which is 10080 into 12 and divide by 100 right now one zero will take one zero off right and now two five ja and two six ja so if you'll simplify it will be one two zero nine point six right now my what is my first year interest so my first year interest and plus second year interest right so first year interest is nothing but one zero eight zero and second year interest is one zero one two zero nine point six which is nothing but two two eight nine point six and this will be my compound interest for two years and option b will be our answer right question number two what would be the compound interest obtained on an amount of rupees thousand at the rate of ten percent per annum after three years right so the principal is given how much thousand rupees right and the rate is given how much ten percent and the time is three years right so this question you have to solve without using any formula right so here i will write the principal and here i will write the rate ten percent so after one year what will be my interest see for the first year the compound interest and the simple interest will be same right for the first year so what we will do we will use the formula directly p into r into t by 100 which is nothing but 1000 into 10 into 1 by 100 and which will give us 100 rupees so the for the first year the interest will be what 100 rupees right okay when second year when you are going to calculate the compound interest then my principal will be what thousand plus the interest will be added that is nothing but thousand hundred rupees right this is eleven hundred rupees right so this is the only difference between compound interest and simple interest from the second year onwards your principal will become the first year principal and interest right so here eleven hundred rupees and ten percent so what will be the ten percent of eleven hundred ten percent of eleven hundred will be hundred and ten rupees so this will be my what second year compound interest and this will get added with the principal right and this will become one two one zero right in third year what will be my principal so in third year the principal will be one two one zero right the previous year principal and interest right and ten percent so if you calculate the ten percent of this value it will be hundred twenty one rupees right and what will be your total compound interest one two plus one is three one plus one is two two plus one is three so total compound interest for three years will be 331 rupees so it is very simple to calculate compound interest without using any formula if you understand the concept of compound interest thanks for watching the video